welcome back to my channel for another clean with me. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Michelle. I am a mom to four kiddos. I have a 10 year old boy, a eight and a half year old stepson. I also have a two year old little boy and a five month old little girl. So our house is pretty messy on the regular and on this specific day, we had just come back from unpacking our trailer for the season. So we have just so much stuff in the house. Just before we get started, I did want to apologize for the quality of the brightness on this film. I was actually just getting used to my new Canon 80D and obviously the ISO was super bright and not good, but that's going to clear up in just one second. So just bear with me for one minute. So I'm going to give you guys an extreme cleaning motivation video for this Monday. I have a ton of regular cleaning to do, some bed linens to do, laundry, baseboards, walls. I also have a ton of other decluttering and organization. So if you do like this style video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe. That helps my channel out so, so much. And I'm just so thankful to have you guys all here. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. off cleaning today with my master bedroom my master bedroom is the first room when you get into the home so it's definitely an area that I like to keep pretty clean and also collects a ton of clutter because like I said we just dump everything in here when we walk through the door so I'm taking some time to do all of the dusting the mirrors the windows I'm also changing my bed sheets because I haven't done that this week typically once a month I'll have my husband help me rotate the bed but since he is not here today I'm on my own with two kiddos I will not be doing that so I'll just quickly wipe everything down, make sure that all of the surface are really nice and clean. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of fall decor here. I'm not huge on fall decor or decorating for any type of season besides Christmas, but I do like to add a few extra little touches just to make it look a little bit nice and homey. <music> So now I'm just clearing off our desk space. This is actually my son's computer. He funded it himself and got some Christmas and birthday money last year. So he was super happy with that. Since I only have a MacBook, sometimes it's easier for me to use a desktop. So I'll also use this with him. He obviously doesn't mind me sharing it, but this is also another dumping ground. I don't even know all of the things that are on here. There's just so many cords and miscellaneous items that I'm just clearing off. This space definitely needs a quick overhaul. It definitely needs to be all wiped down. It's super dusty back here. You guys can't see it, but it's actually really, really dusty. But I will be happy once I can get my own computer in here. Kind of find that this looks like an eyesore in my bedroom. But again, like beggars can't be choosers. We are using it. It is working. It's doing its job for the time being.
just to mention, just in case you guys haven't noticed yet, you will see my little two-year-old toddler prancing around in this video. He is trying to help out. I'm not sure how much helping he's doing, but today my husband had to work about a 10-hour shift and I needed to get all of this work done. So lucky me, I got to do it with a five-month-old and a two-year-old. So I might take some potty breaks or some feeding breaks or just some time to spend with them. But he is actually pretty good. And since he's been potty trained, he is enjoying being more in his underwear in the house. It's just easier for him to take off his underwear and go potty instead of taking off jeans or any kind of, kind of pants. Mm -hmm. And he is always barefoot. That is just a, his manner. But yeah, you'll see him running in and out of here and he's just being a two-year-old little boy. Once my bedroom is done, the bed sheets are actually in the wash right now, so I'm going to take the time to clean up the rest of the house. I like to start off with laundry or bed linens and things like that so that those have the time to wash and dry while I'm cleaning other spaces. So right now I am just using the Wood for Good Cleaner by Method. This is my all-time favorite scent for cleaner. It's also my all-time favorite cleaner. I think it works super, super well, so I'm just going to use that on this little console table that I have there and just dust up some of this fall and Halloween decorations. And then I'm gonna move on to our mudroom. No, we haven't done anything special with it yet. It is still a cluster of stuff and it's just so much stuff in there. But um, hopefully soon we can get a better organization system for in here. Having two kids, it was great, but once we moved to four kids and all of their belongings and during the fall and winter season, they need boots and different jackets and toques and hats and mitts and scarves and so on we just have so much different weather that this space is just not working for us i almost want a door on there just so i can like shove everything in there and close the door <laughs> you guys can see it right now there is just so much so the little cubbies on the left are the older boys and then i also have some little storage bins on top that i put all of the baby's stuff in it i also have a cluster of things in the corner which are like my diaper bag and gym bag and then my shoes and jackets and stuff at the top Now moving on to the heart of the home, the kitchen. This area is also an area that collects so much stuff so quickly. I think that's everywhere in our house. We're just not like the tidiest of people. So right now we have dishes all over our counter and I'm gonna be truly honest with you guys, our dishwasher broke about two weeks ago. So we are hand washing for five, six people, three, four, five times a day. It definitely does get super redundant but I'm just gonna about to clean all of these dishes. I found that if I do them after each meal and snack, there's less of a cluster at the end of the night because our dirty dishes from dinner is just so, so much. As you can see, I've got my little monkey in the corner here trying to play with the microwave. He loves the sound of the microwave. So he's there playing with that, which is fine. I unplugged the toaster so he can't burn himself or get hurt. At some point, you kind of just have to let them explore a little bit. So, and he prefers to be with me. So I just let him come into the kitchen while I'm getting some of this stuff done. As much as I try and be very attentive and very hands-on with my little ones while they're awake, um, I just don't have time to do everything during their sleep period, including cleaning my house, getting ready, uh, getting some work done, and just having some downtime as well. So I do like to take a little bit of time while they're awake to uh, just get some of these tasks done. Don't know if you just noticed I walked out of the shot there for a second. I had to take a potty break with my two-year-old So that was potty break number one of this cleaning session, which is not too bad So I'm just gonna clean the dishes get the rest of the kitchen clean I love having clean countertops like this is just driving me crazy. So I'm just gonna quickly clean it all up
isn't he so cute? He's pretending to vacuum. I pulled my V8 apart so I can charge the top portion of it so that I can use it to vacuum the rest of the house because as you guys know, if you have a Dyson, the battery life on these V8s is not unreal and we do have a lot of flooring surfaces to clean. So my toddler's just walking around <laughs> vacuuming or pretending to vacuum with it and that's just super cute. Uh, if he can be entertained with things like that, then that's great. We do have a whole toy section in our living space, um, but he's not a huge toy player or he doesn't really enjoy playing with toys too much, which is fine. We just kind of let him do whatever and play around with what he has, either it's pots and pans or a vacuum or a broom, which is just super cute. Once my countertop surfaces are cleared and of everything, how I like it, I'm just gonna scrub everything down. We actually made something over the stove and it all leaked, so my stove top was quite gross and dirty. So I was using the scrub brush to just like scrub any kind of dirt off. And if you guys can notice, we don't have any uh, knobs on our stove because my two-year-old likes to turn on the stove, which is super dangerous. So instead of just leaving them there and putting cups over it, we just pulled it off completely. I'm gonna move on to my microwave and that is also super dirty. It's been neglected totally and it was quite embarrassed actually. So I wanted to make sure that that was clean just in case when people came over, you know, they're helping out cook dinner and they wanna put something in the microwave. You wanna make sure that things like that are super clean. As you guys can see, I'm using my glass and surface cleaner for this. Number one, it works well. It smells nice, it's great on stainless. Number two, I ran out of my all-purpose cleaner. So I'm using that to clean my microwave, which I mean is fine and a little bit of dish soap. But again, I need to get some more wood for good and I also need to get some um, all-purpose cleaner because I think those are the ones that I use the most. So I kind of run out of those quickly. If you guys are all new to the natural cleaning products and if you guys don't know much about Method, I will link them down below. They're awesome. They're my favorite go-to cleaners. Their scents are awesome. They're not overpowering. They're not like chemically, they're very naturally derived. And yeah, and they work, they actually work really, really well. So like I said, I will link those down below if you guys are interested. I'm also gonna link my Dyson vacuum down below because I know that a lot of people are always asking or looking for a new vacuum. And I always recommend this one to everyone. <music> about all natural ways to clean things I am actually using some white vinegar and some baking soda to just kind of clean out the grime and the guck out of the sink I try and do this oh my gosh a couple times a week maybe at least once a week anyway and then it also helps neutralize the odors in your drain as well so I always end up pouring some white vinegar in there I know there's a ton of different chemicals you can use for drains but I think that as natural as we can be the better so I'm just using this and hopefully it works. I think that it does work personally if your um, surfaces, sinks and drains and things like that are not like overly gross. And then I'm just gonna move into our little powder room that's off the kitchen. This is the bathroom we use the most. And my two year old just potty trained in August. So when he uses the potty by himself, sometimes there's a little bit of a mess. So I'm just coming in here to clean it. I clean this probably every second day, at least the countertop, the floor around the toilet and then the toilet as well but I'm also gonna be dusting off these shelves. I love the shelves in my bathroom. My husband probably, he did them in the spring, I think, and they're actually super nice and like rustic-y looking and clean as well. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing some of these walls because I have little hands, little fingers who touch everything. I like to finish off my bathroom space by cleaning out the toilet. And as you guys can see, I have a double toilet seat, which is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna link this one down below as well. It's from Amazon. It was actually fairly inexpensive. And I feel like this is like a super nice way to potty train your little ones because you don't have to get like a gross, grimy toilet seat. And if you guys are interested in a potty training video, if you guys are about to potty train or are really like skeptical or nervous about potty training your little ones, I'll let you uh, watch that video. So I will link it up above for you guys. Definitely check it out. 
It was actually a lot easier than what I thought it would be. Our method worked really, really well. We potty trained my two-year-old, just turned two-year-old in about three to four days. <music> And just outside of the bathroom, we have this kind of hall that leads into our garage and our mud room. And these walls were super dirty. Uh, everyone touches them, especially my two-year-old and the light switches. So I'm taking just a few minutes to quickly wipe them down. I'm just using a mild soap to do this right before I clean them. I also dust it up, took off all the dust off the walls, any kind of like spider web looking things at the top because it's pretty gross and dingy. We're actually just about getting ready to paint these walls and like our kitchen walls as well, the same color that's in our main hallway. So I want to make sure that those were clean so that my husband can go and paint that as well. I try and be helpful when I can, especially in the cleaning area because I know that he just has so much to do also. <music> It's been a couple hours now and my bed sheets and duvet cover are all clean so I'm about to throw them back on my bed. I try and do this almost right away to prevent wrinkles but as you guys can see it's pretty wrinkly so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. This is a task that I really don't like to do. I find this like I don't know it's just boring and hard and just annoying uh, but I really love the aspect of having a duvet so it's totally worth it. I don't actually wash my duvet as often as I do my sheets uh, but I do do it maybe like twice a month just to make sure that it's still staying clean. <music> And now that the space is all clean and my room looks really nice and neat, I like to light a candle. I feel like this kind of finishes off um, the aspect of a clean room, especially your bedroom. I think that this is like a romantic, kind of calm, cozy place to go. Uh, so I'm lighting this candle. It's the three wick candle by uh, Bath and Body Works, which I really, really like. This is the peach cobbler, which is my husband's favorite. It's a little bit strong, so I only light it for just a little bit, but I love the kind of really like pinkish to the color. I also like the smell of it. It's really nice and soothing. Now that my little girl is awake and that my vacuum is charged, I'm going to vacuum up all of my hallway and just the main area of my house. You can see I'm just talking with my little toddler. He's about ready to go for a nap. So I'm just chatting with him for a little bit as I finish vacuuming up this space. Our floors are particularly not what I enjoy in my house. Uh, as you guys can see, they're a little bit outdated. Uh, but I mean, right now, budget wise, this is gonna work. They're actually nice and durable flooring. It's just, they're a little bit old. Once my toddler went to bed and my little girl is back for her second nap of the day, I'm moving on to the upstairs. So this is our upstairs bath. This is what me and the two babies use on a daily basis. And then my husband and the two boys use the shower in the basement. So I'm actually just sorting out some toys right now. Some of these are pretty gross and grimy and are just not washable anymore. So those are gonna go to the trash. And then the other one I'm gonna get ready to clean up. You'll probably see that in a future video coming up probably next week or so. I'm just quickly wiping down my bathroom, my bathtub, as well as my sink. I like to make sure that my bathtub is washed before I use it for my toddler because I use it as well. So I just like to make sure that it's nice and clean and fresh for him before he gets into there. As you guys can see, my daughter's bathtub is right there. She's only five months old, so she's not using our actual bath. And I used to bathe her on our counter in our kitchen. But now that she's older and bigger, she's splashing around way too much. 
So I just put her little infant tub inside our regular tub. I really like this one. It's from Boone. I will also link that down below if you guys are interested. It's actually pretty good. It does the infant newborn side on one side and it also does the older baby and infant on the other side. As much as I don't care for uh, like toxic chemicals and cleaning my house, potty training a little one and having some other boys as well, I like to use these Clorox wipes just to kind of quickly, actually these are Lysol wipes, but either Lysol or Clorox just to quickly tidy up and clean the toilet area. I don't clean this bathroom as often as the one downstairs because it's actually not used quite often at all. Um, only when the older boys need to pee overnight or in the morning and my toddler typically uses the bathroom downstairs. Finishing off this clean upstairs, I'm actually just reorganizing my linen closet just a little bit. Actually not reorganizing it, but just making sure that everything is at its spot, things are folded properly. Since we moved our master to the main floor, I don't actually spend a load of time upstairs. So I don't see this quite as often as I probably should. So I'm cleaning that up. And then just moving over to my toddler's bedroom, he actually had an accident uh, while he was napping. So I'm just changing his sheets out, using these little Clorox wipes to just Make sure that his crib is clean, sanitized. You don't smell any urine or anything like that. We potty trained him and he typically doesn't have an accident during a nap, but today for some reason he did. So I'm just trying to make sure that all of that is clean and that I can put some fresh sheets on it. finishing off by vacuuming his floors. I actually got this rug recently. I wasn't going to put it up until we got his toddler room figured out, but he definitely needed a new rug and my husband put it out, which is fine. It was actually super, super inexpensive. It's a little bit thinner than what I like, but it's great. And then my final task on my list is to do all of this laundry folding. You guys probably don't see it, but there's about five or six loads of laundry here. It just seems like so much. 
Uh, so I'm just going to quickly do that. It's been a few minutes now that the little ones are in bed and I had a shower and got my comfies on. I can actually do this and watch a show or a YouTube video. As you guys can see, my phone is there and I'm just watching one of my favorite YouTubers. It's kind of relaxing for me at the end of the night to just get all of this done. It'll probably take me about half an hour to fold all of this, which is a really good thing to kind of do to relax at the end. Even though I probably would prefer to be in bed under my blankets, uh, this is a nice way to get a chore done that's like super mundane or redundant. What I like to do for a little tip or hack when folding laundry, I like to do all of the bigger items first. That just seems more encouraging to me and finish off with all of those little baby clothes and all of that. So I start off with blankets and towels and then mine and my husband's clothes, and my older boy's clothes because their items are bulkier. And I also have the items that are gonna be hung up uh, right there on the right hand side. So I kind of put those already out of the way. It just seems like my pile is less discouraging that way. I try and do laundry every single day to kind of cut down on tasks, but typically I try not to do too much laundry on the weekend. So my Mondays are definitely a lot more laundry because I have three days worth of laundry to do. all right so now it's all done so over here i just have some of the stuff that we're going to hang up in our closet have all of our dish towels cleaning towels these two piles here are my toddlers he's two he is potty trained, but I mean, there could be some accidents and sometimes when he eats, there's mess, so he changes. Even sometimes he just wants to change. This pile here is my little girl's. She is five months old. This one here is my 10 year old's and this one here as well as his. And this is like towels and blankets. This goes in our living room. Easton's um, bath towels some blankets, crib sheets and so on. This is my husband's pile. And then I have an itty bitty pile back here. I wash my clothes. I don't even know why I don't have so much laundry. I guess I have some that needs to be hung up. This is mainly like tank tops and leggings and a pair of pajama pants. And then I also have a few of my little girl's tights and socks and her little muslin there as well. And then some under little thingies for me. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I do this. Gosh, this is like a lot more laundry than what I typically do at once. I like to do laundry like every day or two. This is probably like a weekend's worth. So I think I did the laundry on Friday and then now I'm doing laundry on Monday night. So this is where you have it. All right guys, so that sums up my all day clean with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a ton of cleaning motivation. I hope it got you getting up and getting something done. And if it didn't and you only sat here and watched it and enjoyed a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and just some downtime as a mummy, then that is good for you as well. And I'm super, super thankful. Anyways, thank you so much for being here and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.